Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel and today I'm back with another Dying Light 2 video where we're going to be talking about the new Walking Dead community event. But at the same time, this week has been really crazy with the recent massive news about Tencent buying the majority of Techland's shares. Basically meaning Tencent owns more of Techland than Techland themselves. I know that's a very confusing line but in short, Techland has sold a controlling stake in the company which can and most likely will affect the future of Techland and their games. So yeah, it's a big topic and would require a dedicated video, that's why I recommend you guys to keep an eye for a video that will be posted this week on the channel about this whole situation. Trust me, every Dying Light fan and Techland fan should watch my next video, so do subscribe and press the bell icon to stay updated. Now let's talk about the next big thing. We're finally getting some new knife animations in the next Dying Light update. This was actually confirmed by the community manager after the outrage from people calling out Techland for false advertising. Basically in their recent bundle trailer, Techland showed a new knife animation and this made people believe that the bundle has this animation or the knife has this animation. Turns out there is no knife animation currently in the game so they basically lied to people but don't worry the new animations are officially coming back in the game. But before that let's talk about the Walking Dead community event. This was basically teased during the Summer Game Fest 2023 and currently the event is live for all platforms. The event basically started yesterday on 26 July and will end on 2nd of August 2023. Now in order to participate and win certain rewards you will need to do certain quests starting with the personal goal. In this quest, you will need to kill 850 enemies in total to win a barbed wire with the blueprint as well. This, my friends, is a basic quest so you can simply go on a rampage, slicing zombies to complete the quest. Also, I was able to reach this goal in less than 30 minutes on hard difficulty, so it should be more easy for you on the easy or the normal mode. So, after completing the quest, I received my reward directly in my stash. Now, the next goal is a global goal in which the community in total needs to kill 160 million zombies. That, my friend, is a huge number and if the community reaches that goal then everyone will get Sheriff's hat which is basically Rick Grimes hat from the Walking Dead series. Also being honest it actually looks good on Aiden. Also another thing remember to claim the reward from the Pilgrim Outpost site once the community has reached the goal. Next this quest is a bit different as it's never been done before in the game. So basically for the next seven days you would be getting daily challenges and remember you will need to finish them in time. Also the reward for completing each quest is a comic cover. So if you successfully collected all seven comic covers then you would be rewarded with the Walking Dead Charm. The weapon charm that actually has an effect on it, like the Korak Charm, but this one gives you a damage boost once applied. So let's quickly look at all the 7 challenges and I will show you a small trick to basically complete all these 7 challenges in just one day. Yeah, you don't really have to wait a week to get the weapon charm. Alright, so the day 1 quest says kill 50 bandits or renegades with a blunt weapon. So this one is fairly easy as I picked up a hammer and smacked these people until I reached the goal. But let's just say you're having a hard time finding these bandits or renegades in your game. Well, in that case, you can enter the Shenshu challenge, which basically has enough renegade members for you to kill. Now, once you're done with the day one challenge, you would want to do the day two or day three challenge, but you would realize you can't do that because it unlocks the next day. But my friends, like I said before, there's a trick that people have been using for ages to unlock things early. So basically just change the date of your system to the next day. Yeah, it's that simple. I changed my system date from 26th to 27th and basically started the day two challenge for me. Also, the same goes for all consoles. Just keep changing the date but make sure to keep it between 26 July till 2nd August. And once you change the date, you don't even have to restart your game. The new quest would simply load up. So now let's look at the day 2 quest. The day 2 quest says kill 120 infected with environment damage like spikes, traps and etc that you can unlock when siding with PKs. So this one is also easy. I basically kicked a lot of zombies on battle spikes and that's how I was able to reach my goal. After that I changed my date again to the next day and did the day 3 quest which says kill 120 enemies with fall damage. Now the best way to do it is by throwing zombies off roof during a chase or casually throwing them off the metro station. It all will simply count. Next, the day 4 quest says kill 150 enemies using ranged weapons. For this one, I use the hunter's bow to kill every enemy but I would recommend using a crossbow with the normal bolts. Next, the day 5 quest says dismember 150 infected using slashing weapons. Now this one can be a bit annoying as a lot of times it just won't count properly. So you can use a saw blade or any weapon that basically slices these zombies in this quest. Now for me, I finished this quest by literally using saw blades that I had duplicated months ago. Next, the day 6 quest says kill 120 infected 
using explosives. So this one is the most simple one, just find a crowded place filled with zombies, throw a firecracker to attract the zombies in that location, and then simply throw a grenade and boom, watch them die. Now what I did in my playthrough was even more crazy because I activated a chase and threw mines everywhere. This really worked for me and gave me plenty of kills. Next in the final quest for day 7, in this you would need to kill 80 special infected by any means necessary. So just go out during the night and kill volatiles or spirit that are the two most common special infected that you would come across during night. By the way, I also recommend using toughness booster along with the regeneration booster so you can take less damage and also have full HP. Now, once you're done finishing this final quest, you can go to stash and look for the walking dead weapon charm. Also, if you don't see that in your stash, then save and quit the game and then load it back again. So guys, that's basically the walking dead community event and just like I thought, it's boring like the previous events. But my friends with the community event, Techland also has revealed the walking dead bundle that gives you some really good stuff. But hey, at the same time, I'll let you guys be the judge to decide if the DLC is worth the purchase or not. So the first item you get in the bundle is the Rick Grimes outfit. Then after that you also get a Walking Dead paraglider. Then in the bundle you also get Negan's knife with the blueprint. Then you also get Michonne's katana with the blueprint. After that, you get the barbed wire with the blueprint. So guys, that's total of 5 items which does not include the weapon charm. Now the weapons we get in the bundle is alright and not super crazy. I do like the outfits by the way. In fact, like I said before, we also will be getting new knife animations in Dying Light 2. Which does look cool in this video, but we don't know when is the next update. It could be next month or in the upcoming months. Who knows? So I guess we'll be finding out very soon. Also be ready for my next video because the news is massive and a must watch. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Till then stay safe and stay human.